A lot of the music, uh, I was very fond of those guys anyway. Um, and so I, I, I did write with some of that in mind. But also, you know, this is a very collaborative situation between myself and Maddie. And so we would talk about everything. I mean, you know, uh, uh, he would ask me questions about what I was going through, and I would ask him questions about what he feels about me going through that. And we would talk about music, and we'd talk about everything. So it was a very much a collaborative aspect for me, which was very helpful. And, um, you know, um, I think the music really helps. I'm very happy with it. The ADD thing was in the script. That was Harris's thing. He wrote that, and that's one of my favorite takes that I've ever done in the movie. In, in a movie, uh, I think the spelling out her name was my idea. I think. Could have been. I think so. I don't know. So it was all kind of like that. But uh, the ADD thing was in the script. I absolutely think that there's a lot of misinformation about it. I think that we're in. Uh, um, uh, the reaction from yesterday's uh, premiere, which I, which I was really shocked about and surprised, but happily so, was that I do feel we're in overwhelmed times when it comes to stress, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And a lot of people have sort of hidden uh, uh, concerns and fears and phobias and things that they are self-medicating and they are taking medications and stuff that they're really not sure if they're working or not. And it's a it's a huge business. And you know, in some rare cases, it does work when you know people are really, you know, clinically. You know, depressed or manic depressive or something like not that this that's what this movie is but it's very rare that people uh, that medication actually works to that degree yeah. so yeah I think we're in a, in a very strange time where it's it's a combination of medication and and, uh, and environment you know and I think this movie even though it's it's entertaining and it's funny and it's heartwarming and it's, it's it, if it resonates in that area uh, that's great and I think it is for some weird reason I think he's right. I, 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 I don't, I'm not sure that that's the exact comment we wanted to make, but I, I think that uh, I think that people uh, don't know anything about it, and they just kind of follow whatever a doctor says, and that's not necessarily the right thing. And that's a, we poke fun at that a little bit in this movie, and I think that that's important. And I think it's also kind of a satirical look at you know, there's a pill for everything, you know, and uh, this guy kind of desperately tries to take all of them that were ever invented in this movie and then realizes that it's more of an internal thing and I think that that's the key message to the movie and I certainly was a fan of that message. But there's, I just wanted to say also, it, this, it, it, even though we're talking about all this stuff, it is surrounded by a really beautiful quirky love story of which uh, it really is the spine of the movie and it's, uh, it's very, very, I'm very, very happy with that. It wasn't that difficult because I try, uh, I like that sort of taking the audience to a point where you think it's then going to be predictable and just turning it a little bit and you kind of go, oh, geez, I didn't think that was going to happen. And uh, I'm a huge fan of, you know, movies from the 60s and 70s in which they did that more and more. So I, it was a very planned situation from the writing of it. But again, you know, we would discuss scenes all the time and go, how can we make this differently? How can we put a line in there? Matthew would come up with, what about saying this? What about doing this? And it, would, it became very much of a, you know, a, a very fun, exciting, collaborative thing, which I would do every time.